Hello everyone. Today we're going to do a quick and easy uh, scene here. We're just going to get this foyer area. And the only thing that makes this pretty much worthwhile to make a video at is I wanted to show you kind of how you would light up the stairs. And the reason we light up the stairs is if we didn't, and we just lit up this area here, the uh, stairs will look a little dead. There's no light. It looks really dark and dead. So what we're going to do is we're going to flash this room and we're going to put this flash here. I'm going to put this all the way at the top of the stairs and I'm going to have it at about a half power. And the reason it's on so intense is because it's going to bounce off the ceiling. I'm going to aim it straight up and then it's going to bounce back down and through or and down the stairs. So in order for the light to travel that far, you need to turn it up just a little bit. So I'm going to bring this upstairs and then we'll get started. On a side note, this is the last day I have to use this big ordeal here. My new flash comes in the mail today, my AD200. So very excited about that. So in the next video, I should have that holstered up with me next time. But until then, we're going to make do with this big flash, which is a good flash, uh, just very cumbersome. So. For my settings, uh, before I get started on this, the uh, f-stop is, is uh, 7.1 and the ISO is at 320. The reason I use 320 gives the flashes more power. There's no grain at, at the, that ISO, so I don't have an issue with that. So that is the reason for the 320 as an ISO. And I'm going to go ahead and start this off at a quarter power, one-fourth, and uh, aim it straight up. All right, I got to get my composition. I always like to show you guys how I do that. Over on the left-hand side, you'll see I'm going to come over to the wall starts where they meet together. Straighten the rest of it out. All right. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to crank down the shutter speed until I can see out that window and then let the flashes light up everything else. So let's get started. All right, so my first shot will be at a 50th of a second. That darkens up outside pretty well. It's a cloudy day. So I'm going to go ahead and aim the flash up. Take the first one. Way too bright. <laughs> Let me bring that down actually to a 16th and see what happens. All right. Okay, but I'm going to go upstairs and turn up the flash a little bit. It's still a little too dark for me. All right, we'll see if that change makes a difference. Here we go again, aiming up. Yep, it's getting to look a little better. I'm going to move the flash to the left here. All right, very good. And then I want to take one more away from that uh, uh, window over the door, just in case there's a reflection in that. And let's go to Photoshop and see what we got. All right, here I am in Adobe Raw. Here is our first photo. That is the one where I said it was way too bright. This is the second shot that I took. I adjusted the uh, flash upstairs. That's, so that's the third shot. Fourth shot, I moved the flash just a little bit. If I toggle between the last one and this one, you can see the reflection of the flash in the, mirror, or in the window on the door. And the last one, this is where I move the flash over to the right a little bit. So let's first figure out what photos we want to keep. I don't think I'm going to need anything from this photo. It's just too bright. Second one, I may use something for it, but maybe not. Let's keep going. Next one, okay, so the, it's a lot better lit here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Command-8. This is just a way I mark what photos that I want to keep going and editing on. It just gives me a way to mark it. I'm going to go to the next photo. Look at the differences. That has to do with just a few little tiny things. I think I'll skip that one. Go to the last one where I moved the flash all the way to the right. I'm going to keep that one. So out of all those photos, I'm going to keep just two of them. So I'm going to take these photos and open them in Camera Raw. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do to these two photos is mess with the white balance. Get that calibrated on both photos before I start merging them together. So what I do is I look for something white, 
and I go over here to white balance, take the white balance tool, go to something that I know is white, click on it, go to the next photo, and click on something, that, the same thing, that is white to get them both somewhat calibrated. It's not going to be perfect. And uh, the walls, by the way, are just a slight of a pinkish magenta hue, <clears throat> which isn't the greatest color to work with, but that's what we have. Um, now, what I'm looking for in the first picture is what I like, what I don't like, and then I'm going to look at the second photo, things that I may want to use. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn up the exposure on the second one because I'm going to use it for more bright spots. And over here at the door, as you can see, I've got uh, the reflection from my flash, but in the second photo, I don't. I don't like the fact, though, that the door is a little bit darker because my flash is over here to the right. So before I go to the next step, I'm going to paint, use the brush tool, use exposure. I'm going to paint on the exposure all the way over here to the left, kind of brighten up a little bit of the, those areas by the door, turn that up just a tad. All right. So now, next step, I'm going to hit uh, Command A on a Mac, the Control A on a PC, and I'm going to open both these up in Photoshop. All right, I got uh, both photos, number one and two, here in Photoshop. By the way, it's worth mentioning that I did apply my basic presets onto the photo uh, in Adobe Raw. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then look it for my video that says uh, basic presets and actions. It has everything I use on that video. So anyway, next thing, once I get them in uh, Photoshop, I am going to click on Sharp. This is one of my actions. You'll find that where I just referred you to. I'm gonna run the action on that photo and the other one. If there's multiple ones, I just do a batch process on that, but we don't have that here. I only have two pictures loaded, so let's go to the first photo. All right, so I'm gonna Command A to select the whole photo, Command C to copy it, go to the next photo, Command V. If you look over here to the right, they're now in layers. I'm gonna create a layer mask by clicking down here. So then we've got a layer mask with white, which means if we want to reveal, we're going to need to uh, pick the brush tool and paint with black. I'm gonna choose an opacity, maybe like uh, 40%. And what I'm gonna do is toggle back and forth and see kind of what I want to use from each photo. First thing I'm going to do is work on the door. And so here we go. Brush. Keep brushing. I get rid of that uh, part of my flash I can see on the door. Okay, that's good. I'm going to toggle back and forth again. Now notice in the second photo there, this area right here I kind of like right there. So I'm going to lower my opacity a little bit so I can gently bring some of those areas in to give more dimension to the photo. All right. I kind of like, let me I'm gonna make my brush a little smaller and lower the opacity one more time. Maybe brush in a little bit of this area that I like here, there, toggle back and forth again. All right. By the way, if you heard that little squeak, that is my dog playing with its toy right beside me. All right. And maybe just a tad here. And merge those two together. All right. So I do one more thing to it. So I'm going to see you back again in Adobe Raw before I finish. Okay, now that I have the photo back, I'm going to straighten it up, go down to geometry. I'm going to try the vertical setting and try the automatic, see which one I like best. Okay, so neither one of them I really like because if you look over here to the right, this isn't completely straight. So I'm going to pick uh, the tool all the way to the right, the guided one, click on that. And I'm going to draw down this line here. Whoops, that was fun. Bring that back here. So there's one of my uh, guide points. Then we're gonna go over here to the other side, come straight down the line, and release, and click out. <clears throat> okay, so that straightened it up pretty good. Now one more check on the white balance here. Let me go to auto, see what happens. Okay, it did a negative 10 on the tint, more towards the green. 
Let me back that up a little bit because it was a little bit of that uh, pinkish color, strangely enough. All right, I'm going to get the brush tool. I'm going to brush it up on a little exposure up here. It could be a little brighter. Now that I brush that on, I can manipulate the exposure level. Maybe right there. Uh, pick a new brush, lower the exposure. Still want to brighten up that door just a little bit. These are just little artistic things that you want to do to your photo. Maybe pick a new brush, go back up here, and I'm still wanting a little brighter. Maybe a little pop there. Click, 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 or all around here. Okay. Now, I always like to view this. This is at 128% zoomed. I like to go 66% zoomed and see how it's going to look about the size it'll be on the MLS. I'm going to get one more brush, brighten it up just a tad more. Maybe here. There we go. Go to the main settings and brighten it up as a whole. It's about right there. All right, everyone. That is a quick down and dirty on a foyer shot putting the flash upstairs. Hope you learned something from this. See you in the next video.